Today is the second day of a subway and rail strike here in Korea, but passenger services appear to have run relatively smoothly during the morning commute. But freight train services are taking a hit, and the government has called for an end to the walkout. Lee Min Young reports. Korea subway and railway workers are in the second day of a strike against the government's adoption of a performance-based pay system. It's the first subway and railway strike in 22 years. According to an estimate released by the Transport Ministry on Wednesday, nearly 40 percent of co-rail workers are participating in the walkout, while subway companies' labor unions had a high participation rate. Almost half of all workers with Seoul Metro, which operates subway lines 1 through 4, and one-third of the workers with Seoul Metropolitan Rapid Transit, which runs subway lines 5 through 8, have walked off the job. Even with the walkout, subway and rail services ran as usual during rush hour on Wednesday morning, and subway companies have vowed to keep services at normal levels during the morning and evening commute. Off-peak subway services will run at about 80 percent of normal capacity and regular train services will only run at 60 percent, but KTX bullet train services will operate at the usual levels. The Seoul city government had announced Tuesday that it had enough temporary workers to fill the gaps left by striking workers, and the city plans to dispatch hundreds more to subway stations this week. Freight train services took a direct hit from the strike, triggering concerns about a massive logistical disturbance. Freight operations have dropped to 26 percent of normal levels, and the shipping volume has shrunk to less than half of normal capacity. Korea's finance minister on Wednesday called the ongoing strikes, including a walkout by unionized workers at Hyundai Motor, selfish, and called for them to end, saying the general public will be affected. Co-Rail has dismissed a hundred workers who it says led the walkout and announced that it is considering whether to take disciplinary action against other strike participants. Lee Min-young, Arirang News.